This is how you create Ali Abdal paper folding effect in Premiere Pro. To start with, in our project panel, we have a gradient background, scrap PNG image, and a paper folding clip. By the way, you can download all project related assets from the video description. Stay tuned for the password, which will pop up halfway through the video. First drag and drop the gradient background onto the timeline. If you're interested, I have another video where I delve deeper into this topic. Next drag and drop the other image, and clip onto track 2 and track 3, respectively. To remove the blue background, head over to the effects panel, find the ultra key effect, and drag it onto the clip. From the effect controls panel, use the eyedropper tool to select the blue color from the preview monitor. You might notice that the green background doesn't cover our image fully, so we need to increase the scale value. Now let's make sure the duration of both images matches the clip. Select the image layer, go to the effects panel, and search for the track mat key effect. Double click to apply it. In the effect controls panel, change the matte option to video 3. However, the clip might not cover the entire image, so scale it up as needed. This will give us the desired effect. However, this technique might not yield the final look we want, so remove that track matte key effect from the image. Instead right click, and nest the layer, naming it Scred. Apply the track matte key effect to this nested layer and set the matte to video 3. It's looking pretty cool now, but we also want to incorporate the white paper with the folding animation from the original clip into our final result. To do this, hold the Alt or Option key and drag the clip to duplicate it. Select the duplicated clip, and in the Effect Controls panel, copy and paste the same Ultra key effect. Use the eyedropper tool again to remove the green background. This gives us the effect we're aiming for. That was all about folding effect. Notice, password is, click V4. To create an enfolding effect, select the two clips and the image, nest them, and name the nested sequence folding. Extend the gradient background's duration. Finally, duplicate the nested layer, right-click and select the time and duration option, or use the control or command plus or shortcut. Enable reverse speed and click OK, and this is what you'll end up with.